one. Yeah, yeah. To be ready. You have to stall a little bit. So yeah, I'm up here in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. I was just raving about how I, you know, you have, um, not raving that you have MS, but I mean, you live with such vitality, even though you've been diagnosed with MS and yeah. how you go skiing. Like, I'm so jealous when I ever, whenever I see you going skiing all the time, because I'm just like, right. oh my God, how nice to live that kind of life. So, um, and you haven't let MS stop you, you know, you've learned so much over the years. Mm -hmm. So I'm super, I know everyone will be blessed to hear from you on like your nutrition tip because i know you have tons of them like gwen does kombucha workshops for us where she shows us how to make kombucha she showed us how to make fermented what was that thing fermented um fire what was that oh what fire cider the fire cider yeah i was like yeah she's really good at learn knowing how to do all these fermented things because she knows yeah. that that helps with gut health which helps with overall health so Okay, I'm turning it over to you because you always have good stuff. I'm going to stop talking because I can't wait to hear whatever you got to share. Okay, well, my main thing is with MS, you have to avoid inflammation. So you, you just eliminate inflammatory products in your, in your diet. That was my first step. When I was diagnosed eight years ago, I was, mm -hmm. I'd already skied 50 days that year. And I was like feeling awesome. And then they tell me I have this debilitating disease that I can't move. I'm like, what? There was no way. So I had a great natural doctor that I worked with and she helped me. And a couple of years later, that shred program came out. I mean, seriously, yes. that is it. I live the shred every day, year round. I live the shred. I do my smoothies every day. I eat 20 servings of vegetables and fruit every day. <laughs> it's a lot, but that's how I stay healthy. I'll be 52 in April, and I, my, I haven't had an attack since I was diagnosed uh, eight years ago. It, it's calm. I use lifestyle as my meds. I'm not on any meds. I take juice that's plus awesome. twice a day. I mean... Yeah, and I drove 1,250 miles this week to get here in two days. Oh my God. Remind me where you are again, Ohio? Iowa. I'm in I... Bettendorf, Iowa on the Mississippi River. And I drove from New Mexico and the Colorado Arizona border. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, does that sound like someone who's like unable to do anything because they've been diagnosed with MS? No, that's what I said. Right. Right. Gwen just lives such an amazing, like nothing stops her. So also with the shred, and I love the shred program because it does yeah. put you on a better path. Like for me, I've adopted a lot of um, like the shred habits because I've done it for so long right. and it's easier to eliminate. There's a few things that they require that you eliminate, which you're talking about are inflammatory. So do you yeah. want to share those two? Yeah. Yeah. The main two are gluten and dairy. And mm -hmm. the reason is, is they inflame every cell in your body. And MS is an inflammatory disease that creates lesions in your brain and your spine. So if you don't put inflammatories in, hopefully you don't get any more lesions as a result of cutting down with the inflammation. So it, you know, for, for me, that's why I do it along with the fact that Inflammation creates pain. So mm -hmm. if you have arthritis pain, knee pain, all those weird aches and pains and headaches, it's probably something that you ate. Mm -hmm. and, and one of my favorite commercials is the Pepto-Bismol commercial. If you need to drink that stuff, you should figure out what you ate and not eat it ever again. That because is so true. It's, it's like not a rocket science matter here. If you need to take a Pepsid AC before your dinner. You shouldn't be eating that dinner. You shouldn't eat it. Your yeah. stomach is telling you really loudly, please don't do that to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really trying to help you. And we ignore every symptom. I ignored MS for 20 years. I didn't even know I had it. At 18, I had my first sign which was major leg cramps. And they diagnosed me with dehydration and told me to drink more water. 
I did that for 25 years till I was diagnosed officially in 2013. That is crazy. You know, it's funny that you should say that. Like, I, I think a lot of us now do, don't pay attention to the signs. But when I was younger, and it's funny because, you know, McDonald's fries used to be like the best the fries. Best. But, you know, when I was younger, I could not eat. Like, whenever I ate them, my stomach went crazy. And so yeah. I just stopped eating them. And even though they were so good, I was like, I can't eat this because I am like, I would be toppled over because yeah. of how it made me feel. So I'm so glad. I've always been kind of like aware of things that I ate and how they made me feel. Yeah. But I really know how many people ignore that. And there's certain things I might ignore. Like ice cream, I know it's not going to do the best, especially after I've incorporated such a healthier lifestyle. Now when I eat yeah. ice cream, I'm like, oh, but I love it so much. You know, occasionally I'll do it. Yeah. But it's true. Like if you're eating things that every day you have to take something like, bless you. Like, <coughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That you have to yeah. take Pepto-Bismol or stuff. You might need to reevaluate. Yeah. <laughs> you should eating? probably consider what you ate is not agreeing with you and you should not eat that. I mean, mm -hmm. I just love it. When that commercial comes on, it describes all those bodily reactions. It is just your body screaming for help. It just yeah. wants you to eat healthier or not eat. Maybe it's tomatoes, like for me. Maybe yeah. it's tomatoes. <laughs> and, and tomatoes are healthy, but not for me. They cause exactly. inflammation in my body. And I can't, I can't eat nightshades, but that's all a process of what I had to figure out. That's a little bit better. It's not so blurry. Yeah. That's and it's what I had to figure out. And I'm sure it took you some time to figure all of that out too. Years, years. Yeah. I started in 2012 before I was diagnosed. I went to a natural doctor because I was sick and tired of feeling sick and tired, but I had been on juice plus for four years already. So mm. I, I, I wasn't feeling great. You know, I was going into my forties and I wasn't feeling great, and I wanted to feel awesome. I was trying to lose weight, still trying to lose the baby weight, and my daughter was 14. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't know what I was eating was not, you know, conducive to losing weight. You know, I just didn't. And so when I did that, she told me to eliminate all these things. I call it the no fun diet because it was literally no fun. There was no eggs, no dairy, no gluten, no grains, no noodles, no rice, no corn. I mean, the list just went on of here. She gave me this list about this long. Don't eat any of these things, you know? I'm like, oh no. So I created a list of everything on the internet I could find that I could eat, which was like mm -hmm. a million times longer. So when I went to the store, I wasn't so mad, you know, like, oh man. Yeah. I can't have bread. I can't have a muffin. I can't have, a, you know, whatever. I can't have chocolate. I mean, it was everything. But 10 days into that, and I lost 10 pounds, and I never felt so good in my life. I knew right then and there, I was like, never going back. Your I, body was I thanking knew. you. My body was thanking me. And I tell people that every time. If they do the shred for 10 days, their body will thank them. Oh, and yeah. And just try to pick up one habit. You know, and, and my favorite is gluten. Eliminate that gluten. It is nasty. It is not good for anybody. And there's replacements and they taste great. Okay. Yeah. So the old gluten-free stuff was cardboard. It was like rice cakes. Okay. It was gross. You know, there's no flavor. It's just cardboard, you know, put, put peanut butter on it. Yeah. You know, yeah. but now everything is, I fool people all the time with all the food that I make. So they don't even know they're eating gluten-free and dairy-free. You know, I had to replace it. I like to eat good stuff. I don't want to eat a bunch of stuff that's flavorless. That's yucky. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're like a, a really good cook too. So you know how to make things taste really good, even though. Yeah, I make gluten-free apple pie. <laughs> I like my, that's the only pie I eat actually is apple pie because I just don't like the textures of other pies, but that is my jam. Yeah. <laughs> the next time I'm like anywhere it's near It's kind of like you. worldly famous. Everybody loves my apple pie and they really don't know it's gluten-free. Yeah. I've been making it for 30 years. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm telling you, you need to follow Gwen because she's always sharing really great tips on food and she's really good in the kitchen. I 
I mean, there's just so much you can learn from her. And like I said, she's an autoimmune certified health coach. And I know so many people are suffering from autoimmune disorders. There's now, hundreds the of them out there. Too many. They're diagnosing new ones every day. It's, it's terrible, yeah. you know, it's really bad. Yeah, so, I'm on this trip, you know, I'm meeting all sorts of people and I'm like, well, I have RA. I'm like, oh boy. And, oh, then, and then my daughter has RA. Oh no. And and then grandma says, well, so do I. I'm like, what? Why don't you people let me help you? <laughs> exactly. And that's why me and Gwen, we work together in this, yeah. in this business because our mission is to help as many people like learn how you can reverse mm -hmm. <laughs> certain issues or even just live a more... Um, what do you call it? With more of like, life? <laughs> exactly. With a diagnosis. You don't have to be your diagnosis. You can no. totally like live. Nobody knows I have it until I tell them. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, what is it? And then I tell them and they're like, but you don't, but I don't because I've chosen not to. I'm mm -hmm. not going to be a victim of my diagnosis. I'm going to be proactive and help myself feel better. It can be a, a joint intervention between you and your medical profession team right mm -hmm. you have to help the doctor if they give you meds what you do is important to make them work if you go home and eat a peanut butter pie and he's giving you an anti-inflammatory well then hello that's yes. not helping your doctor no. you know and then you go back in and you complain because it hurts still and, and you tell him what you ate. And he's like, well, maybe you should not eat the pie. <laughs> you know? You don't have to it's, give it up. Uh-huh. It's very hard. But when I was, as I call it, hit over the head with that cast iron skillet and the doctor, and she said, you have MS, I had a choice. I could go the drug route, which I didn't know. And I couldn't take ibuprofen because I was allergic to that. So how in the world am I going to take these drugs with all those side effects? or I could be proactive and help myself. Exactly. So I've, I've detoxed mercury and arsenic out. I've done all sorts of stuff since then. Yeah. That I learned that, about after. It's that crazy. is awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And okay, well. And so I don't go to the doctor, okay? I do not go to the doctor. Mm -mm. I haven't been to the doctor, my neurologist fired me five years ago because I'm doing too good and I don't need her. So she's like, if you don't have an attack, don't come back. I That's what we want to hear. That's what we want to hear. Those are the That's like right. doctor visits we want to have where That's we, right. we can say they don't need to see us yeah. just once a year, maybe check in. Yeah. And she didn't even want me to do that. That was after I'd done that for two years in a row. She, I was mm -hmm. already on like my, annual check-in visits with her and she's like just don't even come back it's you're doing great if you you're not you don't need any mris you don't need to do anything you're you're taking care of yourself you are doing what you need to do so just keep doing it and if you don't have any issues and see ya <laughs> that is awesome so guys Gwen just laid a ton of nutrition tips for us, like between eliminating the high, highly inflammatory, gluten and dairy. Are you still there? I see you. Ah, did you I got a call. You... Oh, oh I had a back. Yes. Sorry. My phone was so loud. I thought you could hear it. But um, uh -huh. between that, our Shred 10 program, which is awesome in making yeah. you feel better, look better, and just starting on I better. I honestly didn't think I needed the shred program when it came out. I thought I was too good for the shred program because I was already doing this other program. But I thought, well, what the heck? After we'd gone to conference and they talked about it in Phoenix that spring, and we were there for like um, St. Patrick's Day in Phoenix, and they, they talked about the shred, and I went home and started it in April, and I was like, okay, this is great. I totally see how it fits right into my life and I live it. So it, it really does work well. And the support network, of course, is, you know, beyond. Oh yeah, the support is awesome. So yeah. if you are interested in learning more about the shred, you can either reach out to Gwen if she's, you know, someone that you're, you're friends yeah. with, or reach out to me yeah. if I'm your friend to learn more about the shred, because that program is awesome. We just finished today ends the 10 day, shred for this month yeah 
to do them every month every month and some people they just kind of live that lifestyle after a while because you have incorporated those habits that become like the habits that you incorporate every day so shred is awesome your body pays you back if you treat it right it'll treat you right as well there you go i posted today you know that expensive handbag is only going to last so long but your body lasts you know a lifetime so you want to take care of the body right that's so right so you that. can you can carry that fancy handbag <laughs> and look good carrying it that's right thank you so much Gwen I knew you thank had you. so many golden nuggets this was so good and I know you're traveling and you took the time out on your travels to do this so thank you so much yeah always I love it awesome thank you have a great Friday you too bye, bye.